Hello, my name is Jo and today I will be introducing our new version 5 diamond design. Version 5 is the newly updated, redesigned customer interface, giving the main design screen a more modern look and user-friendly feel. To create a new design, click New. You now have the opportunity to name your design file if you wish to, rather than at the end of the process. The software defaults to metric or imperial can be selected. The default settings will always be ribbon, but for those using a Deluxe Plus printer, you can select label, which is preset to the die-cut iron-on label dimensions. Having select labels, the software will now auto-select the correct settings within your printer preferences, so this no longer has to be done manually. By clicking and selecting the foil and ribbon colour, you will see a preview in the right-hand insert, along with a warning if the colour choices are not suitable for thermal transfer printing. To start your design, overtype the ribbon width you are going to be using. I am leaving this at 4.5cm as this is the ribbon we have loaded in the printer. The length defaults to 20cm and you can change the length whilst designing. Click OK and you move on to the main design page. You will see that the width of the design area has changed to the ribbon width you requested. By clicking on the red bar, you can simply drop and drag the design length to wherever you want it. When printing onto narrow ribbon, it can be useful to click the magnifying glass to make the design area bigger. All the icons are clear and simple to follow, making the design process quick and simple. Click Add Text and your text box will appear. The software is reading your font file, so all the fonts on your PC are available to you. You also have the option to download extra fonts if you wish to. By clicking into the drop-down box by the default font, just select the fonts you require. You can also select font size, make it bold, italic or underlined by using any of the icons above. Remember you can add as many lines and styles of text as you want. Across the bottom of the text box you have inverse or vertical. Use these if you want the text to print vertically or inverse. For inverse you will need to overlay the text over a solid background and full instructions can be found in the handbook to do this. So type in your message, select the font and click OK. The text now drops onto the design area and is surrounded by red nodes. By clicking off and then back onto the text, you can move it around. By clicking on any of the corner nodes, you can resize the text or image proportionately. By double clicking the design, you can now rotate. By treble clicking, you're able to skew. By right clicking on the text, you have the option to edit or rotate 90 degrees left or right. New to this version are the nudge buttons, allowing control of movements of both text and images. Designs can be centred to middle, top, bottom, left or right. You can also send either text or images to the back or front and link text and images together for easier placement. Detailed instructions for this are in the handbook. Click Add an image. The software comes preloaded with four folders. Stock, Shapes, My Logos and My Graphics. If required, you can add and name your own folders here. Stock and Shapes contain several preloaded images and shapes for your use. My Logos and My Graphics are empty. This is where you would upload your own. Supplied with the software is a folder of pre-sorted images for all occasions ready for you to use. You are also supplied with web-ready marketing images as well as pre-made designs to help get you up and running quickly. Importing is simple. Click Import Image, navigate to where the image is, and follow the on-screen instructions. A new feature is the ability to change coloured images to grayscale for improved print quality. You can also import images with no background, and a crop facility has now been added. Once you are happy with your design, click the print icon. If you are using a Deluxe Plus, remember you have the option to select either label or ribbon depending on what you are printing, using the media selection box. Select the number of repeats needed to make up the required job length. You can also change the gap between each repeat if you need to. The temperature defaults to 12, which is fine for most of the foils, except the metallics which need to print slightly hotter at 14 to 16. To help you, we have a list of recommended print temperatures on the download section of the website. You will notice that the software has calculated the total amount of ribbon and foil used. And this is key when costing your job. The cost calculator is available on your disk or as a download to help you price each job. When exiting the software, you may be asked if you want to save the design. 
if you haven't already. And you can name it and reuse it time and again. The idea being to build up a whole library of designs. All saved designs go into a folder created during setup called Diamond Design Projects. And this can be found within my documents. These can be accessed via the open folder icon on the software design page when required. To use a pre-saved design, simply click the open folder icon and select the design you want. This will automatically set your design width and length, so make sure you have the right ribbon width loaded into your printer. Edit design if required before printing. I hope you've enjoyed our introduction to version 5. For more help and information, please call on 01527 87711 or email us at info at ribbonwriter.com. You can find more videos on all our other products on our website www.ribbonwriter.com. Find us on Instagram, Twitter and Facebook and why not subscribe to our YouTube channel, Versatility in Print, for new video releases. Thank you for watching.